Hello there. I hope you had a great time learning all about push and pull from my friend Pushy Pulley the Spider last week. My name is Miles, and I'm so excited to get to teach you this week. You know, I may look like a superhero with this cape, but the truth is, <laughs> I'm just a regular kid like you who loves to learn new things. And guess what? Learning makes us all superheroes in our own special ways. You might notice that I look a little different from Pushy Pulley. That's because everyone is unique and special in their own way. Isn't it awesome how we can all be different and still be friends? Here are some fun facts about me. My favorite snack is popcorn. <laughs> Yum! And when I'm not teaching, I love to do cartwheels in my backyard. Once, I did so many cartwheels that I got dizzy and walked funny for an hour. <laughs> also, sometimes I feel a bit nervous meeting new friends. Do you ever feel that way? But then I remember that everyone feels nervous sometimes, and that's okay. Taking deep breaths helps me feel better. Let's try it together. Take a deep breath. Yay! Let's begin our lesson. Today, we're going to learn what cause and effect means, how to spot cause and effect in everyday life, why understanding cause and effect is important. Cause and effect is all about how one thing makes another thing happen. It's like a chain of events. Let's think about it this way. The cause is what makes something happen. The effect is what happens because of the cause. Let's take a look at several examples to understand cause and effect. When you push a toy car, that's the cause. It rolls across the floor, that's the effect. When you eat your favorite ice cream, that's the cause. You feel happy, that's the effect. When you turn on a light switch, that's the cause. The room gets bright, that's the effect. When you water a plant, that's the cause. It grows bigger, that's the effect. Now, let's play a game called Spot the Cause and Effect. I'll describe a situation and you try to figure out the cause and effect. Ready? You blow on a dandelion and its seeds float away in the wind. What's the cause? What's the effect? Let's check the answers. The cause is blowing on the dandelion. The effect is seeds floating away. You drop an ice cube on the kitchen floor and it melts into a puddle. What's the cause? What's the effect? Let's check the answers. The cause is dropping the ice cube on the warm floor. The effect is the ice cube melting into a puddle. You clap your hands and it makes a sound. What's the cause? What's the effect? Let's check the answers. The cause is clapping your hands. The effect is the sound you hear. Great job, young scientists! You're getting really good at spotting cause and effect. You've achieved one more Argo star, congrats! Now, why is understanding cause and effect so important? Well, it helps us make sense of the world around us. When we know what causes things to happen, we can predict what might happen next, solve problems better, and make good choices. For example, if you know that not watering a plant causes it to die, you will remember to water your plants to keep them healthy. If you know that not brushing your teeth causes cavities, you will remember to brush your teeth every day to keep them healthy and strong. Let's recap what we learned today. Cause and effect is about how one thing makes another thing happen. The cause is the reason, 
and the effect is what happens. We can spot cause and effect in everyday life. Understanding cause and effect helps us make sense of the world. <laughs> wow, your super smart brains have learned so much. Let's do a quick spin to celebrate. Oops, <laughs> I spun too fast and now I'm dizzy. Can you guess what happened? <laughs> the cause was spinning too fast. And the effect is feeling dizzy. In our next video, we'll do some fun experiments to explore cause and effect even more. Bye.